What's going on guys? Back with another quick how-to video on the Project STI. So today, we're changing out these little guys. These are the 565 STI OEM uh, injectors and we are going to these. These are some Bosch EV14 1000 cc's and they are E85 compatible. Uh, picked these up at Toronto Injectors. They're about 400 bucks, and you know it'll do the job. I'm not doing anything major power-wise. Um, most people go for the ID 1050X or something along those lines, but the price difference between 1,000 cc's to 1,050, you know, that's like a good 600 dollars you save. So I'm just going with this for now. I could run E85 on it if I want to. Um, and yeah, it'll do the job. So first off, I got the side apart, but I'll do a quick overview. Uh, as you can see, my, my shit's already built, so you're gonna have this bolt here holding the fuel lines and all that. So basically, you're gonna want to remove that. The two 12 mils that hold onto your TGVs down there. As you can see, I dropped one over there. I'm gonna pick that up soon. And then there's your injector hole to the left there. So basically you just can remove those this bolt here those two there and then this one up here the little bracket just so you can have some wiggle room so then once you do that basically once you disconnect these two 12 mils you're able to lift up the injector like so as you can see it'll move the whole oem fuel rail lift it up pull the injector out and then you're able to get to your connectors right there and just quick plug and play that's it so i'm gonna try to show you guys how to put it back in with these ones as they have a little bit of a longer pigtail as you can see so let's get to it okay so it's not gonna be the greatest angle but i'll try my best As you can see, this is a fucking pain in the ass, but it'll work. Uh, where am I? Uh, it's even so hard to see. It's a problem. Okay, there's my injector. Here's my extended pigtail. So I'm just trying to get that in. My injector is already in the TGV. So I'm doing this like kind of backwards. Because it was kind of hard to get that in there. So now I got my then pigtail plugged in there you can see my injector is plugged into the TGV if I can get a good angle yeah it's right there so now we'll work on getting this wiring right onto it Okay, that's it. So that is just sitting there. We will adjust it after we get the other injector over here. Okay guys, so new injectors are in, as you can see. It wasn't too bad. It's just gotta play around with the angles and everything, but I know you guys will get it to work. This part, well, the driver's side is a bit more of the pain in the ass due to um, having this AC line and all this bullshit going on here, but passenger side, you've got lots of room. Anyways, uh, it's pretty quick, easy upgrade. Well, hence if you already have a TGV delete like me, but um, without it, you're just gonna have to struggle with these bolts all around going on the OEM TGV, but once you get that shield off, um, yeah, you got lots of room. And if you guys do take that shield off, I recommend leaving it off. Just so like future reference, if you want to do something bigger injectors or something, it's way easier. Cause that shield is a pain to put back. So other than that, yeah, pretty easy install. These are the Bosch EV14s. 
once again, 1,000 cc's. Here's a quick comparison, I'll show you guys here. You can see the nozzle, the feed nozzle, and then the injector tips. Totally different. So yeah, once again, Toronto injectors. For about three, four hundred bucks. You get a set of four. No issues there. Alright, let's work on the next side. Okay guys, so now that all the injectors are now installed on both sides. As you can see there. Nice new injectors. Next thing to do is to prime the system. So just put it in the key on position about three times. So one, two, three, and then leave it on run. And we'll just check for some leaks. So once again, key on the on position. Prime it three times. One, two, three. Let's leave that on. Let's check for any, any leaks. Make sure all the O-rings are secured onto the fuel rail. Looks okay on that side. Looks okay on this side also. Don't see no leaks. Alright, and then we're gonna run it. Peace.